So let's discuss now the mechanisms of regeneration. T.H. Morgan, he proposed two primary mechanisms of regeneration that is morpholexis and epimorphosis. So first of all, let's discuss what is morpholexis. So in this, the entire body with all the missing structures, it can be reconstituted into an entire animal or the body. So it involves reorganizing the existing cells to regenerate the entire animal from a small fragment. So uh, it involves a little or very little or no growth. So the animal which is regenerated, it is smaller in size, but later it grows to form a, to attain its normal size, right? Then what is epimorphosis? It involves the replacement of the lost organs of the body. So it replaces the lost organ of the body by proliferating new cells from the surface of the injured part, right? For example, limb regeneration in Slamender that we will be discussing up later. So let us discuss the examples of uh, morpholexis. First example we'll take up is of sponges. So sponges, they have a remarkable power of regeneration. So it has been shown by H.V. Wilson in 1907 so he uh, found that if the body of the skypha it is dissociated into individual cells and then these cells if they are filtered through a cell cloth then these cells by their amoeboid movements they aggregate into cell masses different different cell masses means different groups of cells are formed and then each cell mass it develops into a small functional sponge but if the cells of different species they are mixed with each other then the cells they will identify the cells of their own species and they will aggregate according to their species so this is known as species specific that is if the cells of the two species they are mixed then they will aggregate according to their own species why it happens how they are able to identify uh, the cells of their own species it is due to the presence of glycoproteins and glycolipids on the surface of the cells so these glycoproteins and glycolipids they help in distinguishing self from non-self self from non-self means self means now they can identify the cells of their own species from the other species right so this is how uh, from a single uh, cell the entire body of the sponges can be created so now let's discuss the example of morpholexis in cylindrates that is in hydra so hydra it shows a, a remarkable power of regeneration so a trampley he uh, did the work on uh, hydra and he found that if hydra it it if it is cut transversely into two or more fragments, then each fragment it grows to form a complete organism, provided that it contains both epidermal and gastrodermal layers. So, if both the epidermal and gastrodermal layers are present, uh, though even a, a small uh, piece of the uh, hydra, then it can develop into a complete organism. So, this gastrodermal layer it de differentiates into interstitial cells which regenerate other cell types so these interstitial cells they act as totipotent cells totipotent cells means they have the full potential to develop into a complete uh, uh, organism right totipotent means they have full potential they can develop into any type of the cell so let's see in the diagram that if hydra's body is cut transversely into different segments then each segment it can grow into a complete organism for example let's take that this part so this is a small part small segment of the hydra's body so you can see that this is also able to grow the uh, on the interior side always um, you know hypostome uh, is generated while on the posterior side always the pedal disc is generated right so you can see that a small segment of the um, hydra's body can develop into a complete organism right so here if we um, here in this diagram we can see that the posterior side of the so this is the interior side of the hydra which is which belongs to the parent hydra right so the posterior side of this interior part it regenerates this pedal disc right so here we can see that a complete hydra is being formed and here uh, the parent part is the 
this pedal disc and it develops the anterior side so anterior side of the posterior part regenerates the mouth and the tentacles like this so always so hydra is in a continuous state of physiological regeneration in which the older cells are replaced by new cells how they are replaced by mitotic divisions in the interstitial cells which are present uh, um, in the body of the hydra right so uh, and uh, so hydra it shows the morpholytic regeneration and it has been found that if the hydra's head it splits then as you can see here if the head of the hydra is split then it develops into a double headed hydra like this so uh, and it has been also found that uh, hydra can regenerate its hypostomal end a number of times so this is called repetitive regeneration so hydra it shows both repetitive regeneration as well as morpholactic regeneration that is why hydra is virtually immortal immortal means it cannot be killed so another example of morpholexus regeneration it has been shown in planaria which is a flat form so in planaria there is axial or metabolic gradient of growth so what is axial or metabolic gradient so if the body of the planaria is cut into several pieces then always the regeneration of head it takes place on the interior side so we can see in this diagram here the body of the uh, uh, planaria it has been cut into different parts so let's say if this part so here you can see that the head develops on the interior side and tail on the posterior side and in this case also if we see so this is the head belongs to the parent and the tail it is always formed on the posterior side here and in this case where the tail belongs to the parent then the head it is always regenerated on the interior side so why it is so it is because the metabolic rate it is very high in the interior end of the body so uh, head is always developed on the interior side while the tail it is regenerated on the posterior side because the metabolic rate is lowest at the posterior side so like hydra in planaria also if the head is split into two parts then a double headed planaria is produced in which two heads are present so this shows that planaria it shows morpholactic and repetitive regeneration right